now this is uh, part four uh, so we are now ready to draw the line of best fit as well as the line of worst fit so if i arrange this here somewhat like this uh, the best fit line would uh, come out to be somewhat like uh, somewhat somewhat similar to uh, this so since i'm doing in a hurry i can say it's a perfectly correct but uh, this could be the best fit line yes so since uh, uh, yeah, it works now the worst fit line should be uh, somewhat uh, like this either you connect this point the top of this point with the bottom of this point or or you connect the top of this point to the bottom of this point either way it works so you have to draw only one not two and the worst fit line should cross through all of these things all of these uh, error bars also the worst fit line should cross through all of these error bars so that means if the bar is like this and worst fit line goes like this so this line is not correct so it should go like this if the bar is like this and the worst fit line goes like this it should be correct so let's try so from here from here let me try this so if i do so does uh, this line go through does this line go through every every error bars so it seems so seems so so it is correct so if i try this one from here to here from here to here does uh, every of the error bars uh, is crossed by the line so i think this one is not crossed so this will not be correct so this should be correct this should be correct yes yes so i can draw this line so from here from here to here so this is the worst fit line so this line is the worst fit line so when you draw the worst fit line you have to use the use the 12 inches uh, ruler or we can say 30 centimeter ruler because uh, you can draw it at a full stretch so now i need to find the slope so if i go to this number here this number here i have to draw the uh, slope so uh, here determine the gradient of the line of best fit and include the uncertainty in your answer so that requires that i need to specify the points here the points in this graph so here first let me specify the the best line and the uh, worst line so let me write it here so this line is the worst fit line so this is worst worst fit line and this line is the this line is the best fit line so let's write it here best fit line now in order to draw the uh, uh, to derive the gradient i have to draw triangle here so i like to use a single triangle which could be useful to both of them so let me draw from here let me draw from here so from here let us pull it pull it pull it let's do it do it up to here and from here let me draw this uh, line yes so this is the triangle which will cover both of these uh, lines so it touches here and here it touches here and here so it can cover both the lines so let me uh, let me uh, note the points so this point is so in terms of years will be so 40 41 42 and 43 so it should be 43 here comma so in the wax it should be uh, 1.6 6668 so it should be 1.68 then uh, this point should be this point should be in the x-axis it is a 42 
so it is a 42 and in the y-axis it is again 1.68 so here let's go th let's uh, calibrate this point so it should be in the x-axis it is 85 it is 788 so it is 88 comma in the vertical it will be 3.5 3.5 and if I do it here here so it should be in the x-axis it is again 88 88 and in the y-axis it is uh, so this should be should be should be 3.52 or let us say I can even say 3.53 so it should be 3.53 so these are the points of the best line and the worst line now in order to be able to calculate the slope so what I can do here is let me bring this page here let me bring this page here and uh, calibrate these points so for the best fit line for the best fit line I'll have so for best best fit line line we have x1 y1 is equal to and x2 y2 is equal to similarly for worst fit line worst fit line line x1 y1 equal to and x2 y2 equal to so let's uh, calibrate the points so this is the point of best fit line so our x1 y1 should be equal to equal to 42 comma 1.68 this is the worst fit line so it's x1 y1 is equal to 43 comma 1.68 and if i go through the uh, uh, other part so <coughs> this is the uh, best fit line so x2 y2 is 88 3.5 it is 88 comma 3.5 and uh, next one is for the worst fit it is 88 3.53 so it is 88 comma 3.53 so now we are able to calculate the gradient of the two lines gradient of the two lines so their values will be somewhat like this so the m of best line should be equal to uh, 3.5 minus 1.68 divided divided 88 minus 42 minus 42 similarly similarly uh, let's do it later so similarly uh, for the worst fit line it should be equal to equal to 3.53 minus 1.68 divided 88 minus 42 so let's go for the values if i do it in a calculator it will be it should be equal to 3.5 minus 1.68 equal to divided 88 minus 42 so this is equal to equal to 0 0.0395652 so we are using six significant figures here for the time being for the time being similarly the other is uh, 3.53 minus 1.68 equal to divided we have 88 minus 42 equal to so its value is equal to 0 0.0402174 now delta m is equal to delta m is equal to the difference of these two so we have to subtract the lower minus lower from the higher so it is minus 0.039565 equal to so it is 
जीरो पॉइंट जीरो 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 सिक्स फाइव टू वन नाइन एंड सो ऑन सो वेन वी एक्सप्रेस इन टू एस एफ इट शुड भी इक्वल टू एयर शुड भी एक्सप्रेस इन टू एस एफ सो दैट्स वाई इट शुड भी जीरो पॉइंट जीरो 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 सिक्स फाइव सो आई राइट हिया प्लस माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो 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 सिक्स फाइव नाउ लेट अस गो फॉर दिस क्वांटिटी एरर स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम द फोर्थ डिजिट फोर्थ डिजिट आफ्टर दिस डेसिमल सो दिस क्वांटिटी शुड एंड हियर वी कैन नॉट राइट दिस कैन नॉट राइट दिस कैन नॉट राइट दिस सो वी हैव टू एंड हियर सो वी हैव राउंड इट ऑफ हियर सो इफ आई डू सो इट विल बी जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री नाइन सिक्स so when it since it is 652 it should go to 6 so the value should be like this